Uh, welcome today to another time of a um, little education on um, fish farming, catfish farming to be precise. Um, catfish farming has been um, a tug of war recently. However, uh, catfish farming has never been easy. Um, the business has always been tough like every other business catfish farming has been tough and every business you put your hands in has its own hiccups you know and um, challenges catfish farming is not exempted it is just about consistently pushing on trying to break new grounds and um, you know changing with the um the times the problem with a lot of people is they find it very difficult to change and um, if you do not know how to source for um, um present you know um you know proper information and change along with it in your business it's going to terribly affect you and most probably collapse the business so uh, catfish business needs um, you know to gather information and then see what you can do to flow with the information and then use the information to you know um, reorganize your business uh for me from what is going on um i've done a lot of changes in my catfish business and um, it is actually helping me to sustain the business um during this very critical and uh, troubled times i want to also mention that uh the mindset that many people get into the catfish business with is not too good and um, one that can discourage them when they eventually get into the business catfish business is not oil um, catfish business is farming there is not much money in farming whether it is catfish farming whether it is poultry farming whether you are farming on uh, goats cows snails bulls crops whatever it is farming is a business that helps you pay the bills and then put some money in your pocket and enables you to keep your money in your investment rather than put it put it put it uh putting the money in the bank that where it will not um, yield any profit rather it will deplete because of the charges um that regularly the, the bank must collect for their services if you have a mindset that catfish business is going to give you millions and you get into cartridge business and discover that you are just getting a you know a few thousands here and there once in a while of course according to your in, uh, investment you'll be you'll be heavily discouraged so do not get into farming with the idea that you are going to be like um, elon musk farming cannot make you like elon musk it's not it's not possible no farmer can be as rich as that you'll be comfortable if you do it well but you have um, 
some money coming into you, but it will it will not be uh, a business that will make you a billionaire. So please debunk that idea. Would be farmers do not think you know on that line before you get you know um, into into farming, so that when you begin to see the little little profits that will come because of your consistent hard work, you will not be discouraged. Now, this is the reason why you must have some other streams of income if you are in farming. Um, even Elon Musk, the world richest man, do you think he has just one business? The man just bought Twitter the other day for 44 billion US dollars. And he has so many businesses, Telsa, so many businesses. I read somewhere the other day that Elon Musk even has um, a perfume business. So, not to talk of farming. I mean, you need some other businesses to support your, your business. Because the little profit that will come from your farming business needs will take it all. And it will seem as if your business is not um, yielding profit. One or two times that you, you do your harvest, your needs take it all. You just stop the business. So you need, if you can, some other small small businesses to support your catfish business um, unfortunately many people especially in this part of the globe uh, they have this belief in um, in destiny <clears throat> most of them say I am born to do something this type of beliefs limit people I don't believe in destiny I don't believe I was born to do anything I believe that I can do anything I put my mind to do. So it gives me um, a broad view <clears throat> about so many things that you know I can do. Um, unfortunately, people who don't understand this don't want to do many things. They cannot multitask, and um, uh, they even call you out when you do so many things, uh, so many businesses. I'm into so many things. I'm, I'm a singer. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm into catfish business. I'm into poultry farming. Um, so many, so many things that here and there that can transportation there and there that can give you little, little money, small, small businesses. It helps you to support one business. One business supporting the other, this one supporting the other, and so on and so forth. So if, if you want to go into something like catfish business, let it be that um, you have some other small, small things that you are doing to support your cartridge business. And the business is not that bad. It's just that all your needs cannot be carried by your little farming business. Farming does not have that large amount of money coming in. It is not oil, like I said earlier. And, and you have to have this commitment, passion for the business. When things go very, very, very rough, in any business, especially this catfish business, the only thing that keeps you going is the passion that you have for the business. You must be involved. I've been saying this in my earlier videos. Many people want to open catfish business with a lot of money and hand it over to people. And most of the times, these people are novices. They don't know nothing about the business, you know? And you ask them, okay, um, send people to be trained and pay for the training. No, Nigerians don't want to pay for information. Uh, Nigerians don't want to pay for uh, anything that will enhance their business. No, they just want it free. You know, what you get free of charge will ruin your business. If you want to put people to mind your business, you must be sure that they know what they're doing. That, that means that you too, you must know, know what you are doing. I mean, you must have some bit of understanding about the business. So, uh, but Preferably, I would like a situation where you are the one that is manning your business, brooding over your business like a hen broods over her eggs, you know, um, jealously, religiously guarding your business. I'm here every morning, including Sundays. Of course, I, I, I'm not a religious person, so I'm here every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
I can actually count how many times I'm not in the farm um, in a year. It will be more than two times. And what has taken me out of the farm those two times must be very, very important. So you see, catfish business, like every other business, needs your commitment and passion. You must love what you are doing to be able to produce something good from it. You know, ideas. You must, you must um, inject ideas into your business. Think about something. You know, somebody said too much thinking causes problem. I say it's not thinking that causes problem. It's worries when you begin to worry. When you think, you produce something. Take time to think. What do I do in this business? How do I go about things? What changes do I make? Of course, that will come through informations that you are gathering also. You know, so it is very necessary that at least you infuse new ideas into your business three times every month. Three new ideas, you know, to get things going in your business. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful business because... The little money that is coming is wonderful, but the most important thing about farming is that it gives you life. I'm here most of the times and I spend my time here looking after this livestock, poultry, um, farm, uh, fish farming and all that. It gives me so much life. See these little things growing, you know, and then at the end of the day, see yourself making some profit from these things. You have put so much time into and energy it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It gives you something to do all the time. When somebody has something to do all the time, you don't have time to be sick. You don't have time to, you don't have time to, you know, um, to, to get fall down and things like that. So it's a wonderful one, but it has to be done properly. You have to know what you are doing. And that is why I'm here. I will, I will take a break now and um, come back some other time. I would like every one of my viewers to uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not done so, so that um, you know you'll be fed with this type of wonderful messages about catfish farming when it comes to, when it comes like this. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Mr. Greg. Bye for now.